it's um, four o'clock. Uh, I'll just call it. But... <coughs> I got here to Jolly Bee. Uh, it's been a stressful, difficult day. Renewing of a Philippine passport in the Philippines. Is it easy? On my experience today, not really, no. Last night Annie went online because she needed to renew her Philippine passport. Uh, she completed all the paperwork, put in her old passport numbers and stuff like that, and address, and all the ID stuff that she needed to do. <coughs> and then it went online at the bottom of the sheet to turn around and give you payment methods. One of them was card, uh, the other one was using GCash or something else, uh, one was using Maya Maya and that other stuff like that, and then the other one was cash. Uh, the other electronic methods would, wouldn't turn around and take the exception of a G-card, G-cash, or uh, a debit card, my debit card. And I don't know whether that's because it's my name on the debit card on the account and it was Annie's name on the passport. I don't know. So the only one that we could get to work was cash, paying cash. So you get these options to pay in cash all around all around Davao. Davao is a major city in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, so we got a printout which I showed earlier. Uh, got the receipt. Got the pieces of uh, numbers, reference numbers, booking numbers, everything like that. Uh, Turned around and gave us an ID number, and that ID number was what you came to the. Uh, we used at the passport office in SM Langer. So they got a satellite passport office, we went in there, really quiet, nothing going on. Went up to the girl, turned around and said, look, I'd like to turn around and pay for the the meeting on Monday between one and two. Uh, she turned around and said that they don't take payment at the office, you have to go to the satellite offices. What are those satellite offices? So she gave me a list of them. So the first one was uh, SM supermarket went downstairs went up to the supermarket gave the girl uh, the number she typed it into the computer it came back that uh, SM supermarket don't take payment for passport okay where else can I go I can go to 7-eleven okay so I went to the 7-eleven and the machine gave me a little slip uh, turned around and said it was invalid Okay, we came away from that. Went back upstairs to the girl. The girl then turned around and said, oh, have you tried the department store? Went back to the department store downstairs. Not the supermarket, the department store. Went into the department store, said, I'd like to pay my the passport. Girl, even before she put it in, she said, we don't take passport payments at SM supermarket or SM department store. Oh, okay, all right. And so I went back up to um, uh, passport satellite office spoke to the same girl but there was another girl there this time uh, she turned around and said 7-eleven uh, uh, take it I said well I've been to 7-eleven so I went back down to 7-eleven there was a girl there called Yam but this time I went down with some friends of mine uh, and Maria Filipina she started going through the process and that baffled them we had five goes to put the number into the machine used the number that was given didn't work went back up to the office uh, and there was another girl there next to the girl i've been speaking to since uh, 10 o'clock this morning which is around two o'clock she turned around and she said that um, she would like to see all of the paperwork that had been sent by the passport office to see if it was actually correct so i got the passport information emailed to George's phone because I can't see my phone <coughs> on the paperwork when it gets sent these little PDF documents. We went back to the office and the girl was sat there looking at us, going, uh, uh, well, "It's all all correct." I say, "Yeah, it's all correct, isn't it?" Uh, so the denominating factor is that the office that sends the paperwork wants to see the paperwork to see if it's correct, and when it's correct 
they send us back down to uh, payment office. Uh, so I went to Mercury, uh, twice in Mercury, didn't work. Went back to SM, went back to the girl, showed her, because the paperwork had come out on George's phone now. Uh, we went back to see the girl, showed her the paperwork with George's. So there was the girl that was adamant that she wanted to see all the paperwork to see if it was correct. All the paperwork was correct to the paperwork that w was printed off last night by Annie. However, ah, there's a however. There was an, uh, another Filipina girl uh, and she turned around and she said, uh, she was Muslim, she turned around and said that that one is not a one, but it was just a straight line. And she turned around and said, it'll either be an L or an I. So you need to go down and try it with an L or an I on the payment system downstairs at LBC. So we trot off down to LBC and this young girl that was adamant about the paperwork was uh, gloating, saying, look, you can go and pay at LBC. So, okay, so off we went down to the LBC. Uh, we went to the LBC office, we sat there, the guy turned around and said to Maria, what are you doing? Well, we want to turn around and pay the passport. Yeah, we don't take payment passport pa uh, passport payment at LBC in SM Langen. You have to go to SM Ecoland. That is the only LBC that takes payment. Don't you just love people that don't know what their systems are? So we went back up to the girl. They explained that the office she sent us to was incorrect, they don't take payment, the same as the department store doesn't take payment, the same as the supermarket doesn't take payment, the same as Mercury Drug doesn't take payment. We went back to 7-Eleven and we saw uh, Yum Yum and she turned around and helped us with the I and the L and she put in the I and it worked. So after six and a half hours and 11 attempts to make payment for a meeting on Monday from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock with the passport office in SM Langen we were successful should it really really take this time I must say that the office was empty and I can understand why the office was empty because as the women the girls in there turned around and said it's easier to do the passport at Ecoland because they have a payment office, a payment booth in the passport office, whereas SM doesn't. It sends you by trial and error to find who actually takes remittance for your payment on your passport. It's really to turn around and have a payment office with it, really. That's my suggestion. It doesn't mean you have to do it, and I'm not being critical, and I'm not turning around and saying, but having people do six and a half hours you can see why the passport office at SM Langen is quiet. Meeting on Monday, and I'm looking forward to seeing Annie go to there to get her passport. Uh, she needs to take her pa passports, ID, proof of address, all that other stuff, and then it will apply for the passport. And then there will be another payment up to 7-Eleven at SM. Thank you very much. I did give Uma uh, Yum Yum some money for her help. I did turn around and speak to the manager at 7-Eleven for all the help because it must be frustrating when you get people like me turning up, trying to make a payment that doesn't work, that confuses the system because what they would like to turn around and do is get their queues out of the way and one of their members of staff is tied up for nearly three hours with me. Um, 